Hello everyone, today I wanted to share my new pedal board with y'all. Um, this is a handmade pedal board, 100% handmade. Um, my dude Zach over at Blind Bird Pedal Boards um, hand makes these out of San Marcos, Texas. Um, unbelievable process. It originally started out as a totally different idea. It was supposed to be like all wood and it was kind of be a little basic and he was really, really awesome at kind of pushing me in the creative process of building and he was sending me all these different materials to use and different shapes and cutouts and ideas. And we settled on um, this size of a board. Um, it's wrapped in this really badass Tolex, um, the sparkly Tolex. My favorite part is um, the back. It actually says the Donut Doctor, which if you don't know, is my music company's name and just my overall nickname. Um, and the coolest part is, is he actually cut out the inlays for this. So this was just a block of wood and he went in by hand, carved it out, filled it in with this material and the donut, believe it or not, has actual real sprinkles in it. So talk about commitment um, from that. Now this board is really awesome. It has a lot of cool features on it um, and features built into it. Um, on the sides, we have uh, quarter inch jacks in and out, so I don't have to ever worry about plugging anything in to my actual pedals. Um, I can just take it right out of the box, plug in on the two outside ports, ready to go. Also, there is a power adapter on the side. Um, this is great, it has a simple on off switch. So again, no going under the hood to manage cables and power. Um, I just take it out of the box, plug in that um, cable here and it goes right to the wall and when I'm ready to play, turn it right on. Super easy. Now if we take a look under the hood, we'll see that we have um, a lot of great space for cable storage. Um, you'll see the board is extremely clean, no cables flying around the top. Um, and this system here, opening it up, it has uh, these two little hinges in the back, really strong, really sturdy. Uh, it closes via a magnet. so. It's not gonna open up by accident. You can actually carry it by these two handles out of the case and it won't open up on you, um, which is fantastic. And there's actually so much space down here that I actually use it for cable storage. So I keep my spare cables down here. Sometimes I keep a couple extra picks. Anything uh, that I might need on a gig just is handy and hidden there out of sight. My Strymon power supply fits nicely in there, um, just drilled in so it's real snug not going anywhere. Um, and that's great. Again, it hooks up to the external power port, so I never have to go under there and fuss with anything. Another cool thing about this board that I really like is the back. Um, it's a closed back, so I never have to worry about things falling out of the ass. <laughs> like I used to have um, a pedal train for years, and I loved it, it was great. But, you know, it's completely exposed on the bottom, so sometimes someone spills something on the stage and it goes right under your pedals and your cables get all nasty. Um, this is a closed back, so I can, again, use it as storage. Um, nothing is getting in or out of here. Um, so it's a lot cleaner. Uh, there's some really sturdy feet on here. Um, haven't had any trouble with these. These are great. They just lift the board off the ground a little bit. So if you're on an uneven surface, it's not gonna damage the back at all. Um, that's probably one of my favorite features and I was unsure about it at first. I was like, I don't know that I want a closed back board. Like, is there going to be any space inside? Is there going to be enough space? Like, what's the deal? Um, 10 out of 10, love it. I'll never go back to the traditional, um, <laughs> to the traditional board layout. All right. I want to talk about my actual pedals on the board now and the signal chain that I'm running through. Um, almost all these pedals, um, are slugged together with the bullet cable slug kit. If you can find that. They're amazing, really freaking hard to find these days. Um, but if you can, they're just great. You can custom make your own lengths um, for you know patch cables in between. Um, really, really amazing and super sturdy. Holy crap, you could throw these out of a plane and they would still be great. Um, so starting right at the top, we have the Polytune Mini 3 by TC Electronic. Basic tuning pedal. Um, my favorite part about this pedal is when it's on, you can actually strum all six strings and it will show you a little halo indicating all six strings and it will tell you which ones are sharp or flat. So if you have two seconds in between songs, which is very common, you don't have time to tune up every single individual string, I'll just kick it on, strum, and I'll go, okay, my G is a little flat and my D is a little flat, and I'll just kind of adjust on the fly real quick. Um, super great pedal. I've had the older version of this pedal for 
close to 11 years. Um, it's actually right there on the floor, but just got the new one because that one was starting to a little bit. Um, next, we move into the Electro Harmonics Pitchfork. Um, super creative and cool pedal. You can do a lot of cool synthy kind of octavey sounds. You can also do intervals from a minor second all the way up to what, a minor seventh. Um, you can do three octaves up or three octaves lower than where you're playing. So you can emulate bass lines. You can play parts that are way outside of the guitar's register. Um, amazing pedal. I actually find a surprising amount of ways to use this um, on gigs and at shows and in the studio. So highly, highly recommend that pedal. I've had it for a couple of years too. Um, next, moving into the um, Three Leaf Audio Proton. It's an envelope filter. So it's kind of like an auto wah in a way, um, if you're not sure what an envelope filter is. Um, now, I originally, I think, what, eight years ago, I bought um, the older version of this pedal from my professor, uh, Jeffrey Lockhart at Berkeley, and I made the mistake of selling it like five years ago. Um, the old version just has three big knobs on it, um, still called the Proton. If you can find one, get it, let me know, I'll buy it from you. Um, I love this one. This is the new version, so it's obviously better, way more customizable in, in terms of tonal options, so still amazing. I use this all the time. Um, but the old one is like, it just has like a little more character. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't even have more character. It's just, it's what I know and I love. So be on the lookout. Next, going into the TS9 Tube Screamer. Can't go wrong. This has been on my board since I knew what a pedal was. I think it was actually my first pedal, like when I was a kid. And I was like, I want to sound bluesy. Um, so we all know the story behind that. Just a fantastic pedal. Um, then moving in to the uh, Eric Gale Signature Brute Drive, exactly how it sounds. It is brutal um, and amazing. We have an on-off switch and then a boost. Kick that boost on, holy shit, amazing. Um, so it really lives up to the name, Brutus, Brute Drive, brutal, sounds amazing. Um, from there, we're running all the way up to the Walrus Audio Julia, which is just the best sounding chorus out there. Um, fight me if you don't agree. Um, does chorus vibrato, um, emulates every sound that you hear chorus-wise perfectly. It's amazing. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, check out Warhouse Audio. They're amazing. Then we're going into the Keeley Ecos. Um, amazing uh, delay and looper pedal. I haven't used the loop function that much, to be completely honest. Um, highly customizable. Uh, delay sounds, obviously. It does all those weird tape delays and feedback things that you would want a good tape delay to do. Um, you also have a preset bank. Now the looper is really cool because you can, when you make a loop, you can like double tap this and it will slow it down by half speed. So you can get some really cool textures out of it. Um, also this functions as a tap tempo. So if you need to do tap tempo delay, it's all right in the box. From there, we move on to the Strymon Flint. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this pedal, this is like, everyone has this pedal specifically for the harmonic tremolo. It's like the Blake Mills tremolo sound. Um, Super beautiful sound, really vocal, kind of wompy, warm sound. Um, amazing. This is really just on my board as a tremolo. Um, and the other tremolos are great too, not just the harmonic tremolo. But um, I don't use the reverb too much because of this guy here. But, um, you know, sometimes if I just need a little bit of extra finesse on top, I'll kick this reverb on on top of that. Um, don't do it often, but this as a reverb pedal still sounds great. But we do have the Big Sky here. Um, I've had this pedal since it came out. I think it's been on my board for 14 years or something. I'm getting old. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I can't say enough about this pedal. It's been on every tour. It's been on every show I've ever played. It has never not been on my board. Um, and yes, it's expensive, but I've also had it for 14 years. So you can easily justify the cost because you know this thing is literally an army tank that creates reverb. Um, you can do like what 500 presets something crazy like that i think i have like 80 reverbs on here and yes you will use that many once you once you discover how many there are and how different they sound with this thing there's no going back to like your amp reverb it's just it's like a whole world of flavor it's like discovering that there's other flavors of donuts besides a plain dough donut you're like oh my god there's things there's jam filled there's boston cream there's sprinkles there's jams holy shit um, amazing. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my board here. Um, thanks for taking the time to check it out with me. Um, again, check out Blind Bird Pedal Boards. Um, 
Zach there is the man. He will hook you up. He will build you literally anything that you want. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. Check out more of his boards. Like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that bullshit. Um, or don't. It's totally up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do, um, but do it. Uh, anyways, hope you have a great day, morning, afternoon, wherever you're at. Um, drink some tea, eat some donuts. I'll see you next time.